So I am here with a sketchbook practice, the first one of 2018. We are going to be doing a simple look at negative space and using some basic supplies here. So you will need a paintbrush, some watercolors, something to draw. I'm going to use this ink bottle um, and then kind of your preference of drawing tool, whether you want a brush pen or a traditional ink Faber-Castell pit pen or a pencil, any one of those is fine, a combination of all of them, um, and then just some clean water and a watercolor brush. I separate my watercolor brush from my acrylic brushes because I wanna make sure not to get acrylic paint into my watercolors um, and clog them up. So let's get started. The first thing, like I said, is you're gonna want something to draw. And I've already done a pre-sketch in my sketchbook here. Um, I'm using a handbook with watercolor paper, but any type of sketchbook that you're working with is fine. Um, I really like using thicker paper because it really kind of holds up more to multiple different types of mediums, really wet mediums, dry mediums, etc. This paper does have a little bit of tooth to it, um, but since I'm using watercolor in this exercise, it'll be nice to kind of play with that. So you can see I have a very rudimentary sketch here of this ink bottle, and we're looking at not drawing the bottle, but the space, the negative space around the bottle or whatever object you're working with. Um, I'm gonna use a pencil, since I already have a brush pen one here, to kind of show you this next um, exercise of it. But you wanna give yourself a block to draw within. So it kind of starts by saying, okay, this is my space, and I'm gonna draw my negative space within this space. And then you wanna look at your object and not focus on the details within the object, so these lines, but focus on the space around. So if you imagine putting this here and tracing it, except for you're gonna look with your eye and do that. So I'm really looking at the negative shape here that's happening and I'm gonna draw that so it goes out and down and a little bit in, down, and then out. And then there's a line at the bottom and it does kind of curve. It's okay if you kind of go around it again in the neck of the bottle shape, up the lid part, and the top part. So I'm really focused here on this negative space. And it's okay if you make little errors here, it's totally fine. You're just focused on that negative space. Now, I really enjoy drawing the detail of things and it's really hard for me not to put this line in and start adding these lines. But again, we're not drawing the object, we're drawing the negative space around the object and that's what we're focused on. So, after you have your negative space, you can go ahead and ink that in, but essentially, you're going to really kind of highlight that space with some watercolor. So coming in here and looking at the shapes that are being created. And using watercolor, you can use acrylic paint if you want. I really enjoy using watercolor just because it's really bright. It goes on fairly flat, evenly. Um, and it's fun to always play with different mediums. So by highlighting the negative space outside of your shape, you start to really see the shapes that are being created here and really start to kind of enjoy what you don't really notice otherwise. I'm gonna do this one in violet. I'm using a number 10 brush here, watercolor brush, um, that really has a nice amount of water that it holds and can really spread that color pretty evenly. And there we go, we have two different ones. So now I'm gonna change my object um, just to show a little something else on the page. I picked this up outside a few days ago and it was totally closed when I first picked it up, but being inside it has dried out and the little seeds are in there um, and it's kind of opened up to release those seeds. So I'm gonna look at this as my object and draw the negative space around it. So I'm gonna turn it this way. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the brush pen. And this is India ink. And this one's gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna show you this India ink has to had totally dried by the time I added watercolor. I'm gonna go ahead and add watercolor as soon as I draw this one. So 
I'm gonna allow it to bleed a little bit potentially, depending on how dry it is in this room. So I'm gonna start with my box, knowing that I'm kind of drawing this way, and I'm gonna draw, looking at this shape here, draw up, and it is kind of making a little nib there down and back out, back in and back to the stem. So that is, I'm focused on the shapes outside of the actual object. This one, because it's connecting down here at this base, is gonna come out of here and it's creating a really closed shape in this area here. Down, back out, this one's wider, back in and back into the stem. So that is the negative space I'm seeing around here. We have kind of this triangle shape, triangle shape, triangle shape as it goes inward and then this kind of sloop of the stem here and here, and then this negative space. So while this ink is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and get my watercolor into here. And I'm gonna pick more of a richer color, blue. And I'm gonna sit it right up against all of that ink. And this is, using this exercise to kind of study and then using the mediums to play with at the same time. So kind of pushing both of those things together in this negative space study. And you can see how that ink is bleeding out. And that's really what I'm going for is just that experimentation outside of what I was already working with is, is the negative space and also putting into that a little intentional media play. So this is a really fun exercise. You could fill multiple pages, just drawing objects, looking at negative space. And it's a really good way to get comfortable with drawing and seeing. When you're drawing, one of the most important skills you can hone is actually making your eye really look at the object. Um, these start to be really fun also from a playing with color, playing with medium standpoint. And then once you get them drawn, <clears throat> you can kind of label them. So this is seed pod, picked up on walk, Three, what is today? The fourth. Three, three. And then ink bottle. And kind of show your progression as you draw and study objects and study shapes and study mediums and just what you can really bring into the play of your sketchbook. Hopefully you enjoyed this little sketchbook exercise. Um, I'm gonna be doing a series of 10 of these for 2018 and on different concepts um, through color theory and shape and object and art. And at the end, we'll have a whole grouping that I will put together into another mini class. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.